Hey everybody! Okay, so the sun is shining, we finally have a bit of spring in Berlin and I want to go outside, so I'm gonna try to make this quick. Welcome to my little more than one month update video. Actually, already so much has happened in um, the first two or three weeks that I really had wanted to make an update video much, much earlier. But, well, I didn't really get to it. So now, um, it's actually already more than a month. I started HRT on the 29th of February, which is now how many days ago? One week, two, three, four... Holy, holy, I'm already five weeks. I'm finishing the five weeks right now. Okay, I'm running a bit late with my update. So, what happened? Um, things happened really, really quickly. Like, I don't know if this is like this for everyone or if my body just really likes estrogen or I have no freaking idea but I was really amazed about how quickly like this this magic started it was really magical so um, the first change that I noticed was um, that like the a fat distribution in your face starts changing and it really changed after say the first 10 days there's nothing and then suddenly yeah like after one and a half weeks you realize how how your face starts to get more feminine and the beginning was really strong and since then i don't notice it very much anymore but maybe i'm just also used to seeing myself and i don't um realize the day-to-day -day changes of course um, and I take a picture of myself like a like a portrait every day and I can observe a bit but the beginning brought mm, very quickly very strong changes and now it seems to have slowed down a bit um, then after like two and a half weeks um, I realized how my whole body fat distribution is, is changing and I hadn't really realized it at first but then it started to change apparently really fast because there were all these new like fat pillows around my hips and my butt became more round and somewhat bigger and my thighs are bigger and rounder suddenly and um, like throughout the time between the second and third week it really started and towards the fourth week I could really feel that like there is this whole new layer of, of fat on my thighs where before there had been the muscle and then the skin right on top of it and now you can really like pull a whole like layer of um, I wish I could show something I have to try so if you see this there is all that new layer there is this new there is here on the side new like i used to have a tiny man butt and one ass cheek always fit easily into one hand but now well oh, there is really something to to hold yeah so that's my thighs and my butt. Kind of two and a half weeks it started. Um, what else? Well, people say that you get kind of like softer skin. I'm not really sure. Sometimes I thought it, it looks a bit different and it feels a bit different, but it's not really like something dramatic for me. Um, what else? Hmm. I really should have made a video earlier. I don't freaking remember shit. Okay, there's one thing. Sometimes I thought that maybe even like the shape of my upper lip here has changed a bit. Could be bullshit. I have no clue. The thing with changes in the face is really that when you're kind of incapable of looking into the mirror because you just can't make friends with what you see. 
and then you're starting this this transition and in such a short time it's just more and more often you 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 look at yourself and you feel this joy and you feel like things change it's magic you can suddenly start to to see yourself and to realize like oh yeah now I now I recognize myself. This this is new. Yeah, it's great. The same thing with like um, the 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 thighs and the butt and everything. It just feels like I'm getting closer to myself. So the thing is that during my first month of HRT, I oh, out of these say thirty days, I did. 20 days every day become yoga and this is really really fascinating for me because first of all like i mean you are like basically almost naked in front of a big mirror and you're moving and you're being active and you're sweating your ass off and anyway when you're going through a lot of stuff like transition it is very good to keep physically active to move to to feel your body to also gain more and more awareness because you're you're changing and you're uh, you have to digest all that and so it's good if you keep on being updated on who you are right now and tomorrow you're different tomorrow you're new but you want your your soul to be able to keep up with the changes because i can tell you that you can you can so much look forward to these changes but as soon as they are about to happen you're gonna get nervous like there is one thing to imagine stuff and then there's another thing when it like really happens and this is this is quite fascinating how i wasn't sure am i gonna like when like my ass gets big am i gonna like when this and that happens to my body and i got nervous but once it started happening once i realized it is happening it was just so yeah it's it's just beautiful like it's magic because you also think that um before you start hrt you're is it gonna work for me like is my body going to react to this stuff at all is am i going to just keep taking it and nothing happens and i'll be miserable and there's like no way to get out of my my situation and then you start and this super quick reaction yeah happiness is just wow um now in already in the end of the third week it was um seriously like my nipples started to hurt to be like really sensitive first but to be sensitive to like touch and brushing and like accidental things that you don't realize every simple small touch becomes like an ow oh, hmm. It's like uncomfortable. It's like you, you suddenly notice that you hurt yourself all the time. And then I start to feel just like under like under the the nipple, just below. It feels like a tiny ball. At first it was like almost not noticeable and I was not sure if if I'm just maybe feeling the, the, the chest muscle or if that's a rib and there's a rib and there's a rib and there's a rib oh no so that's just a rib oh no maybe it's not during the fourth week it became more and more clear that there is like this tiny concentration of like harder tissue coming up throughout the fourth week and now the, the beginning of the fifth week it's really clearly growing and in the beginning in the beginning it was for me like breast growth is is the one change where i would have hoped to just have a bit more time for my for my soul to really uh, be prepared and to to catch up with the change and to just realize okay this is something that's now going to happen and and i mean like it's i've been really looking forward to it but once it changes and you know it's the first change that is not reversible anymore like that doesn't just go back to how it was before uh, when you stop hormones like all the the fat distribution in the face and in the body and everything that can go back to how it was to the male shape in case that you freak out and you're like oh my god i was wrong i'm not trans it's all like a big mistake and i want to stop hrt and just be like my old weird self again that uh, well who wants that but maybe some people want that maybe some people do really like i mean 
for me it was clear that I wanted to be sure that I want to do this transition before I even consider starting. I want to be certain. Now, of course, there's always doubts and I had doubts as well. And uh, these doubts sometimes make it difficult to really go forward with it. But I, I just observed my doubts are always coming when I'm tired and I'm exhausted and I should anyway sleep and not think about things. So always when I was in, in a normal good mood and happy enough, I just felt like this is what I need to do. And so I felt I was ready to start. But um, nevertheless, like things start to change and you realize, okay, now, now, like already after three and a half, four weeks, you start to grow breasts and the fact this is a huge thing. You can't really prepare for it. So um, I'm really glad that I have an amazing friend who is not only a professional dancer but also a professional photographer and we had wanted to kind of make a photo series to document transition like let's say we start before HRT and then maybe we, uh, every month we can do a shooting or something I don't know how often and we actually didn't manage before HRT because she had a dance project and she was gone and, and I didn't have time and so on and so on, how it always is. Um, so now only after basically a month of HRT we started, uh, we, we got to do the first shooting and this was the perfect thing at the perfect time for me because this, this photo shoot and the results of it, I, I don't have the final pictures yet, I hope I can show something eventually. Um, but just seeing these these photos really made me um, like it helped my my soul to catch up with my body and it helped me to feel like now I can embrace seriously like now I can embrace growing boobs it's it's like maybe it's really funny but this is how I felt like now I'm ready now I can be looking forward again now it's like yeah it's like awesome <laughs> um, so I don't know maybe maybe something's visible let me see at least in the last like eight or nine days I've had like a serious growth of not only under uh, like the nipple itself but also around and on the side let me see Still there? So, so I'm still looking quite normal with muscles. You can see that just a bit of something growing there. Hmm. It's not really visible, but. I don't know. This is how boobs grow. Another thing that I seriously like realized having changed very much is that on testosterone I used to be really like an oven like in the bed. I used to be the one heating and everybody could just like warm themselves on me and now I'm just constantly freezing really. Like I'm wearing right now I don't know four layers of socks even though it's 20, 20 and a half degrees in here. Um, okay, now I'm a bit naked, but still. I'm so easily freezing and I'm wearing layers over layers. And this is, ooh, it's not such a nice change. I liked when I was like this heating radiator. Okay, people, I guess that's it. Um, Sorry, I'm being in a weird mood, so I don't know if that's gonna end up as being one of the strangest videos I ever made. But that's how it is. And I think it's better to make an update than just nothing. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, write some nice comments, contact me, give me some 
No, don't give me feedback. Give me like, give me questions. Give me nice things. Give me, give me ideas. Give me discussions. Thanks for watching, and I will um, soon also have to make a video about emotional changes because also there quite something is happening. This one only physical changes for now. Let's see if I make that maybe right now or later or tomorrow or I don't know what. Okay, bye! What's with me? So it's not like I I'm got a makes no sense okay okay maybe I try this again so um, am I nervous what is happening? 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 I don't understand. I'm not myself just because I'm talking to the camera. Me! This is really not my day. Hmm.